You got to be careful because some people are in your life just to set you up. I had a few of them in my life, but you do know I can handle. You do know I can handle it. I had one in my church pastor that said, okay, okay, pastor, can you just tell me what kind of pie, what kind of pie Bishop likes, because I would like to make him a pie. <laughs> you know, I wanted to go in my pocketbook and say, pow. <laughs> now, I didn't have, how much time I got this? I, I didn't have a real problem with her making the pie. I had a problem with her singling the pie for Bishop. That was the problem. I had she said, what kind of pie does Bishop like? Because I would like to bake one for the family. might have would have told her but I'm not going to give you any information so you can make a better pie than me I don't think so I don't think so that, that's not going to happen in this life nor the one to come so I politely told her he likes this pie don't don't come for me. I'm not the one. Don't come for me. Do not come for me. Whatever you do, don't come for me. You do know I said it. Don't come for me. All these women I got in my church, are you kidding me? Sometimes it's a setup. So you have to be careful, sisters, who you allow to come in your life. This may be my last time with you for a while, so I have to, I have to set you up. You, you got to try some people's spirits to make sure they're the right ones to come into your life. Some women have nothing but bleeding heart story. And they use the church as an excuse to bleed. So some people, you have to tell them, stop talking like that. Get yourself together. God has no respect to a person. What he does for others, he'll do for you. Just put yourself in the path that you can receive it. So, so, so Mordecai sets her up. And for over a year, he prepares her, or she is prepared to meet the king. Mm, she's prepared to meet the king. That's why you have to be careful when you say you call to preach. Let me just hit that while I'm here. <laughs> well... I don't need an airplane. We drove my Cadillac truck right out there so I can get home all by myself, you know. And if you come for me, I'm going to bring my ghetto girls back over here and they will take care of everybody up in here. They will take care of everybody up in here. So you better keep smiling at me. Now just because you gave a good testimony and you have influence with the women, there's no indication that you've been called to preach. You can't even read a scripture right. You have not been to any schooling. You've had no classes in homiletics. And here go your excuse. Well, well I just know he called me. He called me. <laughs> when they get called at Calvary, they don't come to me. Because I ask too many questions. Bishop, don't ask no questions. I'm so sick. Ugh. I have to have information. So, you say he called you. What did he say? 